in the country. Brought to you by Yamaha. Yamaha is the first name in motorsports. The odds on the birth of an albino buffalo are estimated at 1 million to 1. The probability of three calves with that genetic defect being delivered in the same place are inconceivable. That improbable scenario has occurred in North Dakota and herds of people from all over the country continue to travel to Buffalo City to see the white sights. Cliff Naylor from Ag Day affiliate KFYR TV reports on the odds breaking attraction. A 200 acre refuge in Jamestown, North Dakota is home to what are believed to be the only living albino buffalo in the world. White Cloud received worldwide attention when she was born 15 years ago. Then in 2007, she gave birth to a white calf named Dakota Miracle. And a year later, something even more miraculous occurred. That was a shock to us, to say the least, to go out there and see this white calf. One of White Cloud's brown calves sired Dakota Legend, the third albino buffalo born in North Dakota since 1996. This photo shows all three of the famous animals together and out in the open, something that rarely happens. People are often disappointed because she's in the trees. The sun hurts her eyes. It just, you know, it's something that she knows it hurts her eyes, so she stays in the trees. So on any given day, you may not see the buffalo, okay. any of them. It's not uncommon for albino animals to be blind, but White Cloud, Dakota Miracle, and Dakota Legend all can see. They just have poor eyesight. All albino animals have the pink eyes, like what we're seeing with uh, the Dakota Miracle here. Because of that, their eyes are more sensitive. Despite the animal's aversion to the sun, thousands of visitors, like the Bustard family, have spotted the natural phenomenons. My uh, middle daughter, Emma, is one that loves to uh, scout the horizon for any types of animals to interesting things. Emma has seen moose, geese, mountain goats, and a grizzly bear through her binoculars. Today I'm looking for a buffalo and I'm really hoping to look for a white one. After about a half hour of searching, the family's persistence paid off. I think I see one. I think I see one. I see something white. Can you look straight down in there, Emma. You see it? Over there. Oh, there it is. In addition to the albinos, a herd of 30 other bison also roam free on this refuge. The average life expectancy for a buffalo is 20 to 25 years. So there's still plenty of time for other explorers to see these wonders of nature. I'm Cliff Naylor reporting for Ag Day. Cliff says there is a difference between white buffalo and albino buffalo. Albino buffalo all have pink eyes like those in North Dakota. There's a white buffalo in Texas but it's not believed to be an albino. By the way, the museum is operated by the North Dakota Buffalo Foundation. To learn more, go to buffalomuseum.com. Food and your family is next.